it's Annabelle. I'm gonna do an April favorites video even though it's the second day of May already. I got sick last week so that kind of delayed things but today was almost 90 degrees out the first warm day of the year as if it's actually spring so I thought it would be a nice time to just come out here and film instead of doing it from my room. I brought everything out here in my bag and let's see I'm gonna start with this skincare product. So this box has nothing in it. I like to keep my packaging one to show you and also because when it's good packaging, I kind of hoard it. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream by Drunk Elephant. I got this back in February because my mom gifted it to me when I ran out of my Josie Moran face butter. And I've been loving this as my new official face moisturizer. I actually have an info thing I wanted to keep. It has an airy blend of six exotic African oils to deliver and lock in intense moisture. First of all, the packaging is great. You press down on this flat part to release the cream that comes in from the center that's pumped from here. And it's meant to be used in conjunction with a lot of their other products that I haven't tried. This product is shaped so that you can put their serums or whatever product and mix it up on here kind of like a plate and then you apply it I tend to have dry skin and ever since using this it just makes my skin feel at equilibrium like it's not extravagant and doesn't make it feel overly moisturized and slippery and very very wet all the time this is fragrance free it just has the six essential oils, so it's just very rich with nutrients and that's why I like it. It's really effective. It doesn't make me break out or have any dry patches. Half the time I don't even think about my skin because it's just so normal and um, at its best state. So thank you to my mom for gifting this to me, but it is something that I would repurchase. My next item is a phone case. And this is what I use to get all of my underwater... <coughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is how we managed to get all of our underwater video footage in those vlogs. My last three vlogs were of the spring vacation and some people were asking which camera I used. So I just used my iPhone 7. Before our trip, I was even considering buying a point and shoot that was completely waterproof. And there's also the option of GoPro, but I wanted something with a big screen. So I decided to invest in this phone case. It's by LifeProof and it's the Frey series. So that is completely waterproof, dirt proof and snow proof no proof and also drop proof but I heard from a classmate that when she dropped it a couple times pretty seriously it doesn't make it waterproof anymore because I think you you damage the frame so it lets in some water they have instructions to submerge it underwater for 30 minutes empty to make sure that no water can leak inside I didn't have time I had to leave the airport so I just submerged it for one minute and it was fine so I just trusted that it would work and it worked really well the one thing is that when you're underwater you can't use a touch screen it just doesn't work so that's good that the volume buttons work to take photos and for video it's just a little hard when you're really used to using this but um, it's nice because if you have the touch ID it works really well even with this plastic covering and it's already a little better I can tell that it's like looser and there's scratches on it but I'm hoping I can keep it for any time I go on a vacation that would need underwater footage this next favorite is a stationary item that I use for school it's a Fabriano notebook you might be familiar with this brand and when my sister and I did that what's in our school backpack video talking about supplies she has a really big sketchbook made by this brand they make all kinds of different products this one specifically is dotted oh wait no she has a really small notebook from this company sorry what's cool about it is that they're clean tearaway pages so it's meant for just making notes that you don't need to keep I used it to plan my weaving midterm so there are a lot of little illustrations and back here I was just taking some notes on the new American modernism for art history and then this next page was planning for my final for a silkscreen class so you can kind of use this notebook on front and back a little while before it starts to tear out but I'm somebody who likes to make a lot of kind of to-do lists and plans and I don't want to hold on to it and that's also the answer to why I don't really use bullet journals because I feel like you put all this effort into making these very permanent pages that you only need for a day or a week or a month before discarding them. So for all of my history notes that I've been writing in this, I have been organizing them in a binder. So it's really nice to have these tearaway sheets for me and they're also dotted. This next favorite is by Sol de Janeiro. This is their Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, which is 
basically a body cream you put it everywhere but I don't use it on my face I mainly use it on my abdomen and all over my legs and sometimes my arms but I kind of want to save it for my legs I have the full size back home that I bought last year it's in California though I didn't want to bring it over here this sample size was actually gifted to me by Soul de Janeiro, so thank you guys for sending it out to me to review. I was going to the Caribbean and when they knew that I was traveling, they sent me the travel size. This lotion is infused with Guarana and it's this fruit that has five times the caffeine amount than coffee. And you know how people use coffee to combat cellulite? When I use this on my butt area, it doesn't make your cellulite go away. I don't really know if that's the complete purpose. I use this because it helps firm and tone all over my skin. I can tell that it retains my definition even though maybe like I didn't work out for a week at one point because I got sick. I still had pretty good definition and not only that it's just a great body cream overall. The consistency is very plump and it's very light when you apply it to your skin. What I notice is that it absorbs very quickly and doesn't leave your skin with that very oily residue so you can put on clothes right away afterwards. Then random food favorite. I've been very obsessed with the strawberry Pocky this month. You guys all know what this is. I think this is my favorite flavor. I've tried the cookies and cream, the chocolate, and they're all very okay. They're average, but I just love this one. It's so good. You want one? Here, just take a box. Really quickly, I want to talk about some of my beauty favorites. I've already talked extensively about this YSL lip stain in my latest beauty routine that was updated. And I'm just going to say it again. I really like the application. It really feels like you're wearing nothing when you apply it. And you can wear it very opaque or use your fingers and make it very, very natural and soft at the edges of your lips. Just really nice. Mine is shade 13, but... Everything is linked in the down bar for you anyway. The next one is this Sugao. I don't know how to pronounce this exactly because it's a Japanese drugstore brand. I got this in Asia last summer. This has made it really convenient when I get ready in the mornings and I rush my makeup because I don't have much time and I just do kind of minimal makeup. This just adds colors to your cheeks. It feels like a face primer, just very smooth and it doesn't go on very opaque so you can apply quite a lot and blend it out. So that's what I really enjoy about this product leaves your skin feeling kind of silicone-y just like face primer does and this is ideal to travel with because you don't need to bring a compact with a brush so you just apply it with your fingers my last product is what i'm most excited to share with you and it is the bees wrap just open this up this is a new one because we already have one that we're using and i went by and packed everything today on there to get another set because now that we are packing lunches more and especially Tyler's packing lunch almost every day I started using this and felt that it was so convenient that we got a bigger size so I'm unraveling this one to show you really quickly god it smells like honey I really hope that the flies don't come over this is basically a natural alternative to plastic wrap because it's infused with wax and you can use this up to a year you just have to wash it with cold water and soap because using hot water would make it warp because the wax will melt but this has been great for the past month that we've been using it this is Tyler's lunch bag actually that we have the current one with this is what we've been using and the sandwich is actually in here it's great to wrap with because it's kind of tacky almost like a little bit sticky from the wax that's on it and when you fold them onto itself and roll it up and press it it stays shut so it makes it really convenient easy to use so it's great we never have to use aluminum foil or plastic ziploc bags and yeah here's your sandwich that is it i'm sorry if i annoyed you with swatting all of these bugs i'm just trying to keep it cool but i managed to get through my entire bag of monthly favorites i'm actually looking forward to doing more talking videos because it's really fun and therapeutic i don't know about today that's kind of stressful to be in here with all the bugs but it's great to just get out here again because it's the first day that it's been warmer than 60 degrees so I'm gonna take a breath after this and I got some food like lemonade and sparkling water I'm gonna lay down actually no the bugs know how to get that low I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm just gonna try to enjoy it. I mean people pe people picnic with bugs it's fine like they're just this is their habitat you know 
despite the bugs, I'm gonna try to enjoy the rest of the afternoon with Tyler here. He's just chilling out next to me. Yeah. I thought it would be kind of weird if he was just sitting next to me in this favorites and not talking. So he's just enjoying his t picture taking. Yeah. I'm a wannabe photographer. Please share with me any favorites that you've had recently. I love to discover new things and especially just hear anything that you have to say. So I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you very soon. I love you. Bye. Food. Food. Okay. Oh my gosh. <gasps> a. <gasps> there was a giant. There was like a wasp above your head. Nero. <laughs> I can't say what I'm laughing okay. And I wanted something that was. Oh, a dandelion. Silverfish. <gasps> <gasps> oh, <away. laughs> that. All right, those bugs are too close. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, gosh. People are gonna just be like, "Damn, like you're such a snob. I can't handle some flies." <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Okay, I, I dare you to come sit out in these flies and not swat or freak out because there are a lot. It's even bothering I me. I hope that it's not visible. <laughs> I think it's probably visible. We drove all the way up here. We're, we're, we are we're, doing, we're doing this. this.